God is going to do exceedingly and abundantly above all that you could ever ask or think according to the power that worketh in us. He's about to do exceedingly and abundantly in your life. And you are about to move from the back of the line to the front of the line. There are going to be some people that's going to say they don't have the credit. They don't have the experience. They don't have the degree. Oh my goodness, it is going to be some people where God is about to turn their heads and they're about to look at you and say, how are they here? How did they receive this? Because God said, favor, favor, favor is your name this week and he's about to favor you. God said you have favor with him, but he's about to favor you with men. And when you have favor with God, my God, he begins to show up for you in such a way that you have not known. Your ears have not seen it. Your ear, your eyes have not seen it. Your ears have not heard of it. And so God is about to do exceedingly and abundantly above all that you could ever ask or think. And God is saying compensation is coming this week. The tears that you've cried the struggle you had to go through, the pain that you had to endure. God said, I'm about to heal you. I'm about to deliver you. I'm about to set you free from whatever situation that you're in. He said, I've dispatched angels for you. You're not alone and you will never be alone for he will never leave you. He'll never forsake you. And so I want you to understand this that God is moving you from the back to the front. Congratulations. And people are going to say, they're going to say, how did you get here? How did you get that amount of money? How did you get that house? And you don't even have the credit. Why? Because you serve a God that can do the unthinkable. You serve the God that can do the impossible. You serve a God that's about to do exceedingly and abundantly above all that you could ever ask or think. You serve a God who does not live by space or time. You serve a God who can shift the trajectory of the atmosphere you sure serve a god that performs miracles every single minute every single day every single hour and so god is about to do three ephesians three twenty in your life and so receive this word in your heart and understand that you serve a god that is spiritual and so god knows your bank account number he knows your credit score he knows what you don't have what you do have he knows what he's going to give you and his word does not turn void his word is true and god is not a man that he shall lie and so get ready to receive the blessings get ready to receive the miracles get ready to receive your inheritance get ready to receive your healing get ready to receive your breakthrough get ready to receive all that god has for you and more and he is about to show up and show out in your life and there's many of you you're going to say my bank account was just here but now it's here i was living there but now i'm living here I didn't have money for the ticket, but now I got the ticket to relocate. Now I got provision and promoted. Oh my goodness, he's giving you double for the pain, for the suffering that you've gone through. God said double portion for your shame because you have gone through shame. And it's a moment that when you're in shame where the enemy has his way of silencing you because of the shame, because of the abuse, because of the manipulation, because everything that you have been through, the enemy has been trying to silence you. But I hear God say, now is the time to speak up. Now is the time. And God said, I'm about to anoint your mouth like I did prophet Elijah. And I put my words into prophet Jeremiah's mouth when he was just a boy. Prophet Jeremiah said, I am a boy. I cannot speak. And God said, do not say I'm a boy for I am putting my words in your mouth and you're going to prophesy to a nation. And that prophecy has to come to pass. Why? Because it's my words in your mouth. And so I prophesy over your life today that your life is about to change, that God is about to do exceedingly and abundantly above all that you could ever ask or think that it's going to happen for you this week. You've waited and some of you said it has not been my turn, but I hear God saying it's your turn now. It's your turn to share your testimony. It's your turn to testify. It's your turn to receive. It's your turn to have tears of joy because you've been having tears of sadness. You've been in a place of depression. You've been depleted. And God said, now I'm re erecting and i'm resurrecting that dead thing to life my god and god said it's your turn for the marriage it's your turn for the breakthrough it's your turn for the healing it's your turn for the compensation it's your turn to be compensated for the hell that you have been through so receive this word in your heart understand that god is about to do unexpected things this week miracles he never stopped working he never sleeps he never slumbers and so he's working for you jehovah sabayo he's a god of armies and he is fighting for you he will never leave you he'll never forsake you he has gone before you he is in the midst of you and you shall not be moving understand that he's with you
and he's going before you and he'll never leave you and you have angels behind you backing you up so when you go into this thing when you get to sign the paper when you're about to sign the contract when you're about to sign the contract for the house my god when you're about to sign the paperwork for the car but you know for a fact you don't have the credit you may not even have the money you must step into it by faith and know that god is backing you up god is behind you god is with you god has already gone before you and so you must receive a yes in the spiritual and understand that you're going to get a yes in the physical because the level of your faith and jesus said to have faith in god that you have the power to say to this mountain be thou moved and cast into the sea my god and it shall be casted into the sea so walk through this week knowing expecting joyful saying lord lord i i I trust you i know that it's going to happen i know it's about to happen for me and i receive it god i receive that you're moving me from the back to the front i receive the favor i receive the provision i receive the double i receive my inheritance i receive what you're about to do because late in the midnight hour god comes and he turns it around and it's about to work in your favor you're going to say i don't even know why i was crying i don't even know why i was stressing i don't even know why i was worried because god said do not worry pray without season Pray more than you worry, but when you're expecting something, when you're saying, uh, when you have that hope deferred, when you're thinking that God is going to do something and he doesn't show up for you, then all of a sudden you're upset, your heart is sick, you're sad, you're disappointed, you're saying, I don't even know if I can trust the Father, but his word does not turn void. But understand, it is your turn for recompense. It is your turn for the double for your pain, the double for your shame, double increase in every area of your life double honor for this grace god is saying in the now and so i would love for you to sow a seed of faith into this word today knowing by faith that god is about to compensate me that god is moving me from the back to the front that god is opening some doors of opportunity for me that god is doing some things that my eyes have not seen that my ears have not heard of that god is giving me the keys to the house the ticket to the relocation the money for it. It's going to happen for me. It's going to happen for my children. God loves you with an everlasting love and his love never stops because we have to understand we serve a God that blows his breath to wake us up every day. We serve a God who assigned angels over us and our children who keeps protecting us in situations where the enemy wants to harm us because in John 10, 10, it says the thief coming not but to kill, sell, and destroy. But God comes so that we may have life and life more abundantly. And God said, I'm giving you life more abundantly. And there's nothing that the enemy can do. The enemy has given you hell. He has raised hell. He's throwing a tantrum because he understands what God's about to do for you. And so he's frustrated. He's mad. Tell the devil to have a seat because you are about to receive everything that God has for you. Yeah, he may try Try to intimidate you. He may try to make you think the blessing ain't coming. He may try to lie to you. He may try to tell you stuff that's not true. He may try to get you to go backwards, go back to drinking, go back to smoking, go back to partying. But I hear God say, hold on to my unchanging hand. I will not fail you. I will not fail you. I'm coming through and I'm coming through righteously. I'm coming through and this word will not turn void. So I thank you for sowing. I thank you for supporting. I thank you for the love. I thank all of you who have sown into the ministry, who have poured love into me, who have prayed for Dr. Angela. I love you with the love of Christ. And I want you to remember Jesus loves you. Never forget it. And remember the joy of the Lord is your strength.